ago or something? Even less? A couple years ago. A couple years ago? Okay. A little more. But I ran into him when I did a bunch of shows in Denver and I saw him. He's absolutely one of my favorite youth, new young comics to watch. You guys are going to fucking really love him. I know I do. Please give it up for the very funny Mr. Mario Rodriguez. Mario Rodriguez. It is secure. This is my second day doing comedy, guys. Thank you guys. He just seen me in the street screaming at people. He was like, you got it, dude. You got it, dude. You belong, dude. You know what I mean? I, like, I like Chatterbox, man. I, I, I used to come here before I even started doing comedy, man. I got drunk here once on White Russians. You know? Yeah, milk and vodka. You, you know drunk pisses? You ever drunk shit? <laughs> It's rough, man. Like, people are writing on the walls in there, save yourself. <laughs> admitting. Not only can we hear everything, we can smell everything, too. Yeah. Yeah, man, I like it, dude. I fucking love being here, man. I'm from Ball Park, so I'm from right here, man. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. Some say Ball Park's the Chicago, the San Gabriel Valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of gun violence, you know what I mean? Great food trucks, I bet. <laughs> nah, we all know it's VMR all day, baby. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. I, the la one that, that white Russian time, uh, I, I had to get drunk because my friend was having sex in this parking lot. <laughs> so, you know, you know those wild chatterbox Wednesdays. You know, uh, yeah. I, I wore my flannel in honor and homage. You know. <laughs> No, man, no, I feel good, dude. I, I'm two weeks clean today, man. I'm two weeks clean today. Yeah, no, thanks, thanks. Yeah, it's been uh, 14 days since I last showered. <laughs> Smoking a lot of meth, though, dude. Yeah, yeah. How do you think these pants fit so good, dog? <laughs> <laughs> Told you I'd open with a mess joke. <laughs> nah, man. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm fr like, when you talk about your Mexican dad, dude, I feel like you're talking about my dad. You know what I mean? Like that's the, you know, like, I, like I have a Mexican dad. Like for the first ten years of my life, I didn't know if he owned a shirt. You know what I mean? Like that. I was unsure. You know? Yeah. Like we, we get, we smoke now together. We get high together. You know. And like sometimes we're driving down the street, you know, we pass a weed shop. I'm like, oh, dad, let's stop and, uh, you know, smoke. He's like, no, son, we have weed at home. He's <laughs> 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 like, okay, one dab, only one dab. And we're... <laughs> nah, again, you know, I'm, you know, I love being Mexican, dude. Uh, again, I'm wearing flannel proud, dude. You know what I mean? Dude? One day I'll be like you, my guy. You know, one of these days, man. <laughs> Building up to it, dude. Yeah. You're who my grandpa wanted me to be. Yeah, I love being Mexican, dude. Being Mexican is being like like the George Foreman of races. You know what I mean? Like we're good at boxing, grilling, and naming all our kids the same name. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get all the more Mexican bits out of here. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, yeah. You know? These seem to bang the hardest, dude. I've put jokes about jacking off, which are true to my heart. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Not for, ch not for Chatterbox, man. No, uh. If, if a torta is a chubby girl. <laughs> Uh, is a uh, is my chubby aunt a uh, tortilla? <laughs> I, I had to bring him back for Steve. Steve liked those when I told him at the open mic. And I was like, Anytime Steve goes hot, like I, I write it down and like, got something there, you know. No nah, man, yeah, dude, this feels good, dude. Hey, Steve, I want my tape on that, dude. That's <laughs> Oh, oh, that's my own pitch to Netflix, dude. You know, a whole special security cam footage. You know what I mean? Like Mario Rodriguez live at 7-Eleven. <laughs> and yeah, I went to Ballpark High School, so 7-Eleven on point there, dog. You know what I mean? that, 
That was zero period and seventh period. You know what I mean? Uh, Hell <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You know, if you're from here, you got the 7 Eleven right here. I'm about to get into it. You know? yeah. I live off Maine, so you know what I mean? I got the one on Maine. Okay. <laughs> Now, someone told me when I got here, they were like, uh, I thought you were going to dress better for this. <laughs> you know, and like, I don't know, I'm superstitious. Like, if my pants don't smell like urine, am I funny? You know what I mean? Like, like this smell you're smelling, hard work. You know what I mean? Hard work. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah, man. This is fun, dude. So, so <laughs> someone called me gay the other day for uh, wearing chapstick. <laughs> Can you believe that? That was my friend, too, dude. And I was like, I was like why am I gay for wearing chapstick? He's like, don't even bring up chapstick. <laughs> it makes me think of my lips. <laughs> like, Fellas, is it uh, gay to have lips? <laughs> It was my fault though, I was putting it on like this, you know. <laughs> That's on me. <laughs> That's my bad, dude. I had to warm up to that one, dude, because I, I, I wasn't getting this part in, you know what I mean? I wasn't getting, I wasn't getting what I wanted, you know what I mean? Like, I, I had to put myself in like, what do I like, you know? You know what I mean. I mean <laughs> Dude, you got a belt buckle the size of like a dog's brain. You know what I mean? Like, that's like, fucking okay. chug you out here, dude. I'm pawn that shit right now, get fucking a quad easy. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I, I never took any improv lessons, but I did have a grandma with dementia. You know what I mean? <laughs> Worked out the same. She's like, I'm a little girl, I have to go to school in the morning. And I'm like, yes, and? <laughs> Free acting lessons, gotta play all my uncles. You know what I mean? Especially the dead ones, she liked those. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's four now. I'll drink to that. Oh, yeah, there you go, dude. Tip this bartender, man. This is a dope ass place, dude. Uh, I, uh, yeah, yeah, I, that sounded kind of inauthentic, huh? You know what I did? You know what it is? I kind of stepped on the court and like my, my comic mind was like, you're a failure. <laughs> Keep the court away from you, we all know that, you know? No, my, uh, my, my nephew, uh, he, t he became four months the other day, his four month old nephew. Uh, he, was, uh, he was born with one ear and it grew back. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Imagine that without it. No, dude. Four months old, it was still one ear. Fucking lazy, if you ask me. <laughs> Get to work, dude. Yeah. No, when I heard that, uh, I was like, uh, I thought of a joke, dude. I'm gonna be honest with you. I was trying to soften the blow there, but I, you know, I thought of the joke. And this is the joke, okay? I have a deaf nephew. Uh, I call him Defu. <laughs> I'm like, hey, Defu, come here. And he doesn't, because he's deaf. <laughs> I'm a broken human. <laughs> he needs to wash his pants. You know? Oh, man. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to call on that one, man. Thank you guys for having me. I love you guys.